So, okay. So I'm going to go down a little, a small rabbit hole here, if that's okay with you. Let's do it. Okay. So something that I've been working on through some of the somatic experience healing stuff I've been doing. So I went through a lot of trauma in my career and I didn't, I ran away from it for a decade. And then all of a sudden it hit me last year, like Mm. a sack of bricks. Like every day I was having a panic attack, nightmares every night, just the whole thing. So what you run from will come back to find you if you have not healed it. And that is the truest thing. And I did not believe it until last year. So that's context for what I'm about to say. But um, I had gone through this period of time in my life during my career and after my career where I wanted to make everything hard. Like I thought you had to struggle to succeed. I thought you had to be in pain in order to have triumph. I thought, you know, oh, the harder the struggle, the better the this, you know? And so it was like, the more that I was attached to that, my whole identity was that I need to be in pain in order to feel loved. Mm. So the more that I could be in pain, the harder I could make something suck, the more the struggle was, instead of just acknowledging it and being like, this sucks or this is hard, I was like, oh yeah, this feeds me. Because Mm -hmm. on the other side of this, I'm gonna feel that high. Like once I can overcome this, once I can get past this. I didn't realize any of this was going on until I started doing my my work two years ago. You know, it was like none of this even became a thing. I had no idea. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, (laughs) that makes sense. So the reason for that is because uh, what I'm learning is because if you've been conditioned to feel safe in those environments, you will go and trend toward those environments. Yeah. You will, you will trend toward pain if that is safe for you in the past. Now it's not safe. Don't, you know, don't use that literally. Like it's not a safe place essentially, but if it's what, you know, Mm -hmm. and your body, like your nervous system thinks that's safe. Like you just think that's normal to be in pain. You think that that's just the way it is. You will go and, to that space over and over and over and over again. And there have been multiple books written on this, you know, Mm. the body keeps score. I'm reading uh, becoming supernatural by Joe Dispenza. Um, I mean, you name it. There's a ton of books just on this topic of the nervous system and trauma and what happens with our bodies. It doesn't have to just be trauma can be a stress response, but when we are um, constantly going toward that pain and attaching to it as our identity, because it's safe, Mm -hmm. that can cause a lot of resistance in your life, you know, in your daily life. Like you won't receive love, you'll push it away, you'll, you know, get triggered easily on things. Like all these, all these things start to happen because if you don't have the pain, something's wrong. If things are going well, something has to be going wrong. Where's the shoe going to drop? Yeah. Um, And so as an athlete, you know, when you do have struggle and things are really hard and you are embracing it, my biggest piece of advice with that is that it's not going to go away. Struggle is going to be there forever. Struggle is not going to go away. We are going to have hard times in sport, outside of sport, with family, with friends, with relationships, with the country, with whatever it is. But the more that that identity is attached to that, to be the thing that like turns your system on and like the thing that you need, that's where the resistance and the problems can start to show up and your mm. body wears down. Your body just wears down because you're in survival all the time. Yeah. So if you can acknowledge it, what I'm working on now is acknowledging it and becoming aware of it so that you can actually like walk alongside of it and mm. use it and like do great things with it instead of like, I have to live with this or I'm not worthy. Like this is the only way that I can come out on the other end is if yeah. I conquer this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, that's my, my tangent on that, but I'm very passionate about that topic for sure. 